Another powerful earthquake jolted Afghanistan this morning. The German Research Center for Geosciences reported that an earthquake of magnitude 6.3 struck the northwestern part of the nation at a depth of 10 kilometers. The fresh quake comes after earthquake of the same magnitude 6.3 hit the Central Asian nation, killing over 4,000 people and injuring many. Eight strong aftershocks followed the deadly earthquakes that shook the hard-to-reach areas in the region. This caused several village houses to collapse and residents to flee to the streets. The most affected area was Zendajan in Herat, where at least 13 villages have been destroyed. The U.S. Geological Survey said the quake's epicenter was about 40 kilometers northwest of the city of Herat. Meanwhile, rescuers scaled back operations in Afghanistan's devastated northwest as chances of finding survivors diminished. Relief and rescue efforts have also been hampered by crumbling infrastructure after decades of war. All this while a scarcity of foreign aid, which once formed the backbone of the economy, has dried up since the Taliban took over. Now, according to the head of the World Health Organization, women and children comprised about two-thirds of the total victims of these earthquakes, many of whom were later hospitalized with several injuries. Meanwhile, several survivors remained on the rubble or under the rubble, homeless, and crying for help and support. The United Nations Humanitarian Office has announced five million US dollars worth of assistance, but immediate material support has come from a limited few, com uh, few countries. Neighbors Pakistan and Iran have offered to send rescue workers and humanitarian aid while China's Red Cross Society offered cash relief aid. The province of Herat shares a border with Iran in the west and Turkmenistan in the north. The city has a number of historic sites, including the Herat Citadel and the Musala complex. During the Middle Ages, Herat became one of the important cities of Khorasan, as it was known as the Pearl of Khorasan. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.